when it comes to a good thing such as keto diet a perfect diet for losing weight there's always a price to pay you need be ready at any time to sacrifice what you have for what you could become and if you believe in yourself you have the dedication determination and you don't give up at all surely and truly you will reap the reward of your effort hello everybody welcome back to my channel living with lydia and i am lydia today's cheese is about how i survived the keto flu in my previous video where i talked about how i lost 55 pounds in three months i made mention of the keto flu and some of the symptoms high experience but i did not go into how these symptoms were managed however if you have just started the keto diet or you are about to dive into it you must first of all learn all about the keto flu its symptoms and how to manage the symptoms after several days of starting the keto diet i felt rough i had headache dizziness sleeplessness bad breath and visiting the toilet frequently these are what we call the keto flu symptoms then what is keto flu keto flu is a flu-like symptom that most people experience when they just started the diet keto flu is not contentious neither is it dangerous but it could be very unpleasant or discomfort depending on individual one can experience one or more of these symptoms generally the keto flu kicks in at the 24 to 48 hours mark of just starting the diet and the symptoms may last from a few days to two weeks or even up to a month in most case keto flu is temporary after this period you should be back to normal feeling good and energetic apart from these symptoms that i mentioned headache dizziness sleeplessness visiting the toilet frequently there are other symptoms that you might experience such as fatigue lack lack of motivation lack of focusing or concentration sugar craving muscles cramps irritation irritation um keto rash or um and uh, constipation just to mention but few then what actually cause this keto flu what my what what what, what is cause of keto, the keto flu keto flu is caused by the body as a result of the body switching from burning sugar or glucose as energy to burning fat as energy at this process the body is making making a few change on how it runs itself the big question is how can you manage or treat the symptoms keto flu symptoms generally disappear by the self within a few days as the body adapt to the system why suffer when you can do something about it now and start feeling better you can always get rid of this keto flu by doing something and this is how the first thing you want to do is to stay positive and that is why it is important for you to research once you have researched or gather information about keto flu and the symptoms and how to manage it when you get to this stage it will be so easy for you and you will keep positive you will not be discouraged or you will not want to quit because already you have first-hand information or knowledge about what this keto flu no 
is and the symptoms that is associated with this cell uh, flu then you'll be more confident and again just keep telling yourself positive things that oh this is the the, the price you need to pay to get to where you are going the second stage or step is stay hydrated ketogenic diet changes our bodies water and the mineral and the uh, minerals balance in our body and as such you need to drink a lot of water this period and increase your salt level your salt intake for instance you can add salt in your water when you while you are drinking so that you can have sufficient salt in your body you can drink chicken or beef stock bone broth coffee tea and other low calorie beverages that we count as part of your flu intake thirdly you need to eat more fat after all the old thing about ketogenic diet is about eating more fat or, or food with high fat so at this stage you want to increase the amount of fat you are eating and you can also do that by adding a spoon of butter in your cup of tea or, cof uh, or coffee is it fourthly you reduce you want to reduce physical activities this is not the right this is at this stage it's not the right time you start doing tedious uh, exercise or tedious work you want to tune down a bit on your you know, physical activities because they are, you don't want to stress your body the more at this stage that your body is trying to adapt to to these new changes and the fifth step is you need to eat a lot of vegetables eat a lot of vegetables the period because eating a lot of vegetables we have to come know help in the digestion uh, problem and help you to avoid the constipation and uh, we know that uh, vegetable is high in fibers so by eating a lot of vegetable this period it will help in your di digestive system it will help your digestive system and take control of the constipation then fifth, fifthly you you need to get adequate sleep Sleep at the right time. Don't sleep late or leaving it late. Sleep at the right time. Have enough rest. Try to relax your body. This could help also to control or to shed the symptoms. And um, lastly, but not the least, at this stage, do not consciously restrict the food intake. I know that once you are in this process, your, your hunger rate is really reduced. Even though you are not angry, because you still want to keep the body, the, the changes that is going, you don't want to stress the body more by not eating. You just have to, to find yourself or force yourself to eat something at this period. However, remember, if you want to be successful, figure out the price and then pay it. Thank you everyone for watching and listening to me today. And... How would like you to leave your feedback, comments at the comment section, and thumbs up. Also subscribe and click on the notification button if you have not done so. Thank you. Bye for now. Till next time.